Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to replace values in series or data frames. Um, sometimes we have our data and we'd like to, you know, modify not the rows, uh, you know, the row labels or the column labels now. We saw that over the last few videos. But now we'd like to update the data inside uh, the data frame. And the way to do that uh, in Panda data frames, actually there's more than a way of doing that. So let's have a look at how to perform that. Um, let's create our usual data frame. The cities, you know, with their ranks and scores and uh, with the um, column labels and the row labels. And the way to replace one or more uh, values in um, in Pandas data frames is uh, we can access columns as series. So I can say something like um, data frame of city and it'll give me all the values in column city and if I check the type of that then it's a series and what I can do is I can use the function replace um, so df of city dot replace and then if we have a look at the documentation of replace just a quick look it says here the value to replace so what to replace and then the new value what to use in place of the previous value and then whether to do it in place or not to modify the actual data frame or not uh, I'm sorry to modify the actual um, series or data frame or not and so on and so forth with the other options you can read through the options and um, yeah and you can have a look at the options to, for more details right so let's have a look and see how we can do that let me erase this and let's say in column city I'd like to replace um, maybe Rome with Napoli. If I do that, and if I have a look at what the data frame now looks like, then I notice it didn't do it in the data frame. So it only did it here, and it created a new uh, a new object basically. Uh, to do that in the data frame itself, we saw here in place equal fo equals false by default, so we can say in place equals true. If we do that, and then display the data frame now, uh, we should see Napoli instead of Rome, right? So that's done inside the actual data frame. Not only this, but we can pass lists of values. So if I say, for example, in the column city, I'd like you to replace Rome and uh, Tripoli, Tripoli by uh, Napoli and another big city in Libya is Benghazi. Okay. Um, in fact, it's the other way around because we've already replaced uh, Rome with Napoli, so now we have Napoli instead of Rome. So we're going to say replace Napoli and Tripoli with uh, maybe Rome and Benghazi. So this is replacing more than one value at the same time using lists. And then when we check the data frame, we notice it has been updated. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Another way, um, let's have a look now at um, accessing you know cells by their locations. We've seen this before, the iLock, the iAt, and the at uh, functions. If we have a look at the iLock, this is purely integer location based indexing for selections for selection by position so I can say uh, data frame dot I look zero zero so the first row and the first column remember it's zero based indexing if I access that then it should give me a Benghazi if I say the first row and the second column then we should get first and if I say the, the second row row of index one and give me the fourth value uh, I'm sorry, the, th the fourth value, which is which has index 3, should be 63. Okay, right. Now, to replace the value using the, um, the, using the indexes, like um, the row index and the column index, we can use the iAt function. Um, if I display the uh, value at 0, 0, it's Benghazi. Now, I can replace it by saying equals uh, maybe something like um, 
Berlin, for example. If I do that, it'll do it in place. So if I go back now and display the contents of the data frame, it will be done in place. Okay, so this is using the IAT, and I can also use the at. Let's have a look, by the way, at the documentation of IAT. This is a fast integer location uh, scale access. So this is so IAT is fast and it's uh, uh, integer based. You notice the difference that in IALOC we pass them inside square brackets, whereas um, we pass the indices in separate square brackets, whereas in the IAT and the AT we pass them like in comma separated uh, form. Okay, and the other one is the AT function. The AT is fast. Uh, uh, accessor, but now it's label based. So instead of using the uh, the um, the integer values for the index 0, 0, 0, 1, and so on and so forth, we can use the labels. So if I say, for example, the row label is these letters, and and and, and the um, column labels are these attributes, I can say, for example, give me give me the value at row A, column city, and it should be Berlin now. Okay, or give me, for example. Um, the value at row G and column rank we get back first but to do like for example let's say row G column uh, city which is Rome let's replace that with Tokyo run that and if we have a look at the data frame then we notice now we have Tokyo in here in uh, row G column city okay so that's how to do it you know in a different way we've seen replace and we've seen how to do it via accessing certain elements using the uh, indexes using either the integer based indexing or the label based indexing right nice and easy thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video